Hey, welcome back. So now that we have implemented some kind of uh, user setup, um, I feel it's time maybe to have a look at pagination, sorting and searching just to do something. And I would like to try and do it here on the syllabus side and I would like to do it only client side. And I just want to briefly discuss what's the difference between doing the pagination, sorting and uh, filtering client side and server side. Uh, so I'm just going to try and explain that to you before we continue. So what I want to show you here is that we have, this is what we're actually doing back and forth. We, we have a lot of data that we're sending back and forth between a server and a client, right? And we have two choices. Right now what we're doing, what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to send a huge amount of data here, all the syllabuses, everything in one call. We're going to send that back to the client. So uh, of course it goes through the cloud here and then to the client. So the client gets a huge envelope with all syllabuses, okay? So here we have all the syllabuses. And then all the syllabuses are now being paginated, filtered, sorted. And pagination is just where you see, like you see in the bottom, you see one out of 50, uh, go to next page. So it's paginated on the client it's going to be filtered on the client where we start maybe saying, I only want to see syllabuses with this lecturer and it's going to be sorted on the client, right? So this means that we're going to pull out all the data and that's one solution. Now the other solution is instead that we let the client send a message through the cloud to the server explaining what he wants paginated and what he wants sorted and what he wants filtered, right? So he sends that information to the server. Now the server takes care of it and then sends only a small part of the data back. Only the data that you have filtered right now. That's going back to the client. So now we are just presenting the data and now the server is actually doing the work, right? We're going to build this solution in the current setup and maybe I'll build the other or maybe I'll switch to an entire different lesson later to show you the other way around. So what I'm going to finish up this lesson is I'm just going to try and show you actually the next lesson. The first thing we'll do is actually make a lot of data. We're going to add a, a lot of syllabuses instead of the, sync, the two ones we have right now. So we're going to seed the database with a lot more syllabuses with a lot of different information and then we're going to try and start doing the filtering, the sorting on the client side. Okay, so it's going to be pulling out all the data and then sorting it here just to show you. Now, which one is the right one? That depends on the data setup you have. If you know you'll get a maximum of some, maybe a few hundred documents, maybe it won't be worth doing the filtering this on the server. Maybe it'll be worth doing it all on the client, right? But if you know that it can end up being in the hundred thousands, maybe it'll make more sense to actually do it here. That's one way to look at it. Another way is how much data is there actually in here? How much will you actually get back? Will it, um, will it be very, very um, heavy data like with pictures in it, f files, whatever? Then maybe you shouldn't pull out all the data either, right? And then another thing is the bandwidth. Will your clients be sitting on a very low bandwidth so you won't be able to get that much data out? Maybe again, we'll filter it on the server. But that will be up to the customer, that will be up to the program you're writing, you'll have to figure it out yourself. But that's the difference between having a very client heavy setup where the client gets all the data and then he does the filtering compared to having a very server heavy setup where the server is taking care of all the data for us and filtering before passing it back to the client. So I'll show you how to make the client side next. So see you in the next lessons.